In this video, I'm going to show you how to access the web interface settings of an IP camera using the web interface of your NVR. This video is useful for customers with license plate cameras or for customers who need to configure IR and video image settings for each one of their cameras. So first, I'm going to log into my NVR. I am at the web interface, which can be accessed by the IP address of your NVR. The default IP address is 192.168.1.109. You would type that into your address bar to get to the web interface. I'm going to log in using the default username and password that can be found on a label on my NVR. Then I'm going to go ahead and log in. To get to my camera settings, I'm first going to need to go to the setting menu at the top left of the browser and then click the camera button. This is going to pull up the camera list from my NVR. As you can see, I have all of my channels listed here. I'm going to select channel 3 as it's an advanced IP PTZ camera. To access it, I'm going to click the web page icon. It looks like an Internet Explorer icon. It's going to translate the data from my camera through my NVR to my computer. Then I can log in using the same password I used to log into my NVR. Click the login button. Now since it's translating the information from my camera, it may take a second for it to load and then the video will come through here in a second. But we can see that it is a PTZ camera and there are some PTZ controls here in the PTZ camera's web interface. To get to its settings, I'm going to click the setting tab. By default, it should take you to the camera and then conditions tab. If it doesn't, then you'll want to navigate here manually. But this is where you'll find the image settings for your camera. For example, we have the picture tab where I can control the brightness, contrast, saturation, chroma or color, the sharpness, a nether sharpness setting, the gamma, I could flip the image, I could do electronic image stabilization, or a picture freeze setting. For this video I'm going to leave these settings as default. The second tab is the exposure tab. This is mainly for license plate cameras. I'm going to leave these settings as default since this is a PTZ camera and the exposure settings are fine by default. The third tab is backlight. This allows me to use backlight compensation, headlight compensation, or this camera's wide dynamic range. The backlight settings are useful if you have an area with varying light levels. I'm going to go to the WB, which also stands for White Balance tab. And in you, here we can see there are many different settings. I'm going to leave this camera on auto, but you will want to finally adjust these if your camera image doesn't look quite right. Here is the Day and Night tab. Now this tab doesn't actually have anything to do with the day and night profiles that I'll cover later in this video. This day and night tab here actually only controls the light sensor on the camera and tells the light sensor how sensitive to be for a day and night time capture. For example, I can tell it to be sensitive to light or not sensitive to light at night when switching between the black and white IR mode or color mode. This will come into play when I cover the profiles at the end of the video, but let's say I wanted to leave my daytime into color mode all the time, I could set it here and tell it during the daytime profile to stay in color mode. But for this video, I am going to leave it as auto and explain later in the video how you can set up a profile. Here is the zoom in focus tab if I needed to finally adjust how my camera zooms and focuses. The auto settings are very good however, so I'm going to leave this alone. The illuminator setting is for the IR light. Here it's set by default to the zoom prio setting. This stands for zoom priority, which will then set up the IR light. If you zoom out a far distance, then it will of course increase the IR intensity. If you zoom the camera out, it will cut kind of reduce the IR intensity and then there is a manual IR setting which allows you to manually control how much IR your camera is illuminating. There is a smart IR setting which we prefer to use on fixed lens or motorized zoom lens cameras. However, for PTZ cameras, a zoom prio setting may be the best setting. So we'll leave it to the default zoom prio setting. Last but not least, not all cameras will have this setting, but there are defog settings on many PTZ cameras or higher end cameras to defog in case there is some fog that gets on the lens. 
So now I'm going to go back into the day and night tab here and further explain what day and night time means. So again, this day and night time tab down here simply only relates to the light sensor on the camera to switch between day and night time. And by day and night time in this instance, as you can see on mode, I mean color and black and white mode. There is another day and night profile that you'll see here by clicking up on the profile. There is a general, a day, and a night profile. So that relates to the profile management tab. And here in the profile management tab, we can see there is a general setting, a full time setting, and a schedule setting. I've went ahead and already preset a schedule, but this schedule can be modified and it's based on when the sun rises and when the sun sets in my area. So while this camera is following the schedule between midnight and around 7.30 in the morning, it will be in the nighttime profile. During the day between 7.30 and 6.30, it will be in the daytime profile. And then when that daytime profile expires, it will go back to the nighttime profile. You could also set it to a full time, always enable day or night profile or to always use the general profile. Now to go back to our conditions tab, I will further tell you how each one of these profiles could be set up with an example. So I'm going to set it back on the schedule and I've consulted with my local weatherman for when, day, uh, when the sun rises and the sun sets. So I went ahead and set that manually. I would click save to save my schedule and then go back to the conditions tab. For my daytime profile, I'm going to want it to stay in color all of the time. So again, I'm going to come down here to the mode, click color, and then click save. So regardless of how much light is in the footage, as long as it's between 7.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m., this camera will stay in color mode. Now if I go to my nighttime, I would want it to set it to black and white mode all the time. Or I could leave it in auto if I had street lamps that may give enough light for this camera to stay in color mode. Or if I wanted to do try and do color night vision capture, I could tell the camera to stay in color mode. I'm going to leave it on auto just in case I may have some ambient lighting or if not the camera will still turn into black and white mode so that it can see some distance from the camera. So again this day and night tab relates to this profile only if you set it to stay in color or black and white mode. But as I mentioned I have that nighttime schedule set up to auto the day set to color mode and then I can go back to my profile management and find that as long as the cameras between this time it will be in color mode and then it will set that light sensor to automatic at nighttime. Hopefully this video helps you understand the profile settings and how to access a camera through your NVR. Thank you for watching.